Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Melanie Ferguson and you are watching Southern Crush at Home. I am so glad you are here, but listen, you're gonna wanna subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Today, we are gonna make a super fun summer wreath using badminton rackets, you heard me right, and these fun florals from the Dollar Tree. So get ready to have some patriotic inspiration. All of these supplies can be found at the Dollar Tree, but you're also gonna need these wooden USA letters as well as some cute ribbon. So the first thing you're gonna do is take some spray paint and cover that red racket, making it white. I use this Rust-Oleum, but you can always pick up a can of Kiehl's. Light, even coats work best. Then I arranged the rackets. These are bad badminton rackets in the outdoor fun section of the Dollar Tree. And I put the white one right there on top of the red and blue ones in the center. Now, once I had them arranged exactly how I wanted them, I took some clear zip ties and weaved them through the racket faces. Now, I didn't be exact, but you could measure out and count all of your squares. I just kind of eyeballed my project. I don't ever take it too seriously. It's all about having fun. So you're gonna wanna repeat that exact same process with another clear zip tie over on the other side of your racket wreath. Once I had the zip ties pulled tight, I went ahead and just snipped off the end that was hanging out. And I actually kind of twisted those little zip tie nods, nodules or knots to the back of the rackets. Now taking the really fun Glitter USA letters, I removed them from the backing. They were on this burlap strap with some really loose um, staples and uh, I was able to get the staples out as well just with my hands, it was really simple. But I love these letters, they're pretty much the star of the show, so try to find those. You can use different letters, but those are um, what I thought were really, really, really cute. Now you're just gonna take some hot glue and position them in the middle of each racket, just like you see me doing here. It doesn't take a lot of hot glue, they, they um, adhere really quickly and easily. Um, you're gonna need to kind of position them a little bit underneath the rackets. You'll see here on the end where they will be still in the center of the faces of the rackets. I think they're so cute. All right, so now we're gonna make a really pretty bow for the center right there that I pointed at. And you're just gonna take three different ribbons, whatever ribbons you love. And I chose these um, three here. One is a super skinny ribbon. I believe I found it at the um, Hobby Lobby. This white gingham one is from Dollar Tree. And then this blue pretty one is from, it's kind of meshy and, and sparkly. It is from Hobby Lobby as well. Now, if you wait until they're half off, um, it's a really, really um, not um, expensive option. Now you'll see that I took the smallest one on the bottom. This is my little bow maker. I'll link the video below on how to make yourself one of these little handy bow makers that helps you hold your bow in place. Then you're gonna uh, make your loop and twist it. See how I'm twisting it in the center there? And then try to keep your spools of ribbon kind of uh, straightened out over to the side there. Um, and then take the next loop and put it right through the center, pinching it as you go. Now, only one of these ribbons that I am using is wired. You definitely wanna make sure you have at least one wired ribbon when you are making a bow with a bow maker. Just makes it super uh, easy to work with. I have made a bow before, several for my Christmas trees with this bow maker. Um, that did not have any wire in them and they turned out cute. You just have to do a few things a little differently. Now, this was about a six loop bow that I decided to make here. You can make um, a five, a six, an eight, whatever makes you happy. I just felt like six was about the right size for this project. 
And then I just eyeball the length of the loops. Now you can get super technical and measure them out, make sure that each loop is identical, but I think eyeballing it again is, is, is a pretty safe way to go. Now, as you see, I'm adding this skinny ribbon to the top. It might have been better for me to make this ribbon glued to the gingham check ribbon first, just to kind of give it a little something to stick to, but this worked out fine. Now I'm gonna thread the zip tie underneath all of my stack of bow, and then zip tie it right there in the center pretty loosely as I pull it off of my homemade DIY bow maker. Now I'm gonna flip the bow over and tighten it a little bit more, but still not all the way. I, I wanna get all of my tails positioned and all of the loops positioned before I tighten it tight, tight. Now I'm going to separate the loops and kind of pull the blue out from underneath the red gingham a little bit, just so you can see it. Now you see I was pointing at that skinny ribbon again because it was kind of giving me a little trouble not staying centered into the ribbon, the red ribbon like I wanted. Now I'm tying the zip tie all the way tight. It's called breaking the ribbon, uh, breaking the bow. And then I'm going to just finally kind of mess with this till I like the way that it looks. And ultimately I decided to um, trim the tails in a dovetail or mermaid shape so that it had just a little more of a finished look. I did it wrong the first time. I do that all the time. Do you ever do that? Let me know in the comments below. I did my little dovetail, uh, mermaid tail, dog ears, however you want to say it, um, the opposite way. But I learned my lesson and I did it the right way on the other side. So when you're finished with this, I did tack on a little bit of glue to those center um, skinny ribbons just to kind of make them hold a little better. And then I took a second zip tie and thread it through the bottom underneath of the first zip tie. Trimmed off the first zip tie and now I had a way to connect this to my wreath. I flipped over the rackets right there where they all three come together. And this serves as tying the rackets together and tying a really pretty patriotic bow onto the rackets. Then I trimmed the zip tie um, from the back, fluffed my bow again, and I've decided to add these beautiful red, white, and blue roses from the Dollar Tree. You just grab this little bouquet and pluck off the red, white, and blue colors to use in the center of this bow. I added them in with a little bit of hot glue after I eyeballed kind of the positioned and, and where I wanted them to go in the center. And I think that they make this bow pop. I think that they make the bow just absolutely adorable, if I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, this wreath just took me um, by surprise. I didn't expect it to turn out so darn cute, but here we are, here we are killing it. So I know that you can do this too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because I really wanna see you on the next video. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up too if you like video tutorials like this. And let me know if you wanna see more bows or wreaths or what your projects are you love. Now. This is how it looks on my front door here in North Texas. It is so pretty here for the summertime and all the patriotic holidays. I miss Memorial Day, but we're gonna hit 4th of July soon. I cannot wait. Um, this is one of my favorite projects. I hope that you love it. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, my friend, stay inspired.